Hey kids, welcome to Professor T and Me. Today I've got a special guest. Welcome Miss Lexi. Hi kids. All right, we've got a really awesome science experiment today and I'm so excited about it. Miss Lexi, can you go over what supplies we need at home? Of course, we have a lot this time. We need two 24 ounce plastic bottles, two different colors of food coloring, and then we need some developer. Now this is something you're gonna to have to have your parents help you with. You can buy it online or at a local salon shop. You need at least 20 volume or 6%. You'll need four ounces in each of those cups. Then you'll also need some Dawn dish soap, two packets of yeast. And what you're gonna put the packets of yeast in are some warm water. You need a half a cup in each cup. What else? The most important part, we need gloves and safety goggles. What? Whoa! What happened? That is so awesome. Let's do this. Okay, step number one. We're gonna add our soap to each. We're gonna do two drops to each bottle. This is the fun part. We're just beginning. When you're done doing that, the next thing you're gonna do is add a little bit of food coloring. We're gonna add like three or four drops. Now it's really important to have your funnels because we don't wanna to touch these chemicals. Put your funnel in, and now you're gonna add your four ounces of develop. Once we've done that, swish it around a little bit, make sure it's all mixed up. Then you're gonna open up your yeast packet and add it to your four ounces of water. Here's the hard part. You gotta stir it up, guys. It's gonna take a few seconds. You wanna take about 20 to 30 seconds to stir your yeast to make sure that it mixes in really good and it starts to have a chemical reaction. So we're gonna stand here and mix. Now, while we're mixing, what are we talking about today? Do you have any ideas? have to do with waiting. Ooh, that's a good one. No, it doesn't. But you know what it has to do with? Your attitude while you wait. So today we're talking about our attitudes. Have you ever complained about anything, Miss Lexi? Yes. What are some things you complain about at home? Having to wait. Oh, good. When I have to do my chores. Absolutely. Anything else? How about having to eat Brussels sprouts? Oh, uh, those are disgusting. I'm not a fan. There's many things that we tend to complain about. And you know what? When we complain, that attitude can kind of affect everyone around us. Do you think we're ready? Probably. It might be time to see what our attitudes do. Now, Lexi's attitude, which is green, is gonna represent a grumpy attitude. And mine, it's red, so it's gonna have, represent an attitude of love and how I might affect people around me. Is that? Sounds good. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh, that is so cool! That's crazy! Do you see how our attitudes spill out from our hearts and it affects everyone and everything around us. That's Sometimes so that's cool. good if we're giving our godly attitude and our love to everyone around us. But if we're complaining and we're whining and we have a bad attitude, it also affects people around us. It shows how important it is to be able to spread God's love to everyone around us. That's really important. Good job, Lexi. Thank you, Professor T and Professor Lexi. And so the next time you go to the salon and you're making your hair look good and smell good, pick up some of this. And kids, this is an experiment that you must do with an adult. 
But if you do this experiment with adult, you're going to experience this awesome truth as well. And the truth is this, that we can grumble, we can complain, but when we do that, we're focusing on the challenges and the hurts and the struggles of this world. And the truth is, is that God has overcome those through his son, Jesus, through his death and resurrection. And we have life eternal. And because of that, we can have joy and we don't have to grumble and complain. We can give thanks. Thank you, God, for these experiments. Thank you, God, for the gifts you have given us. Thank you, God, for Jesus.